Good afternoon, everyone. I'm here with Shireen Francis, who's a mindset and marketing coach. Thank you, Shireen, for being with us. Hello, Randy. Thanks for having me again. Well, I absolutely love having you and chatting with you. And it is such an awesome, gorgeous day outside. Like, I can't believe how the weather weather switches back and forth. It's so hilarious. <laughs> I love Canada, so... <laughs> So I love it. And if anybody wants to join us, I'm just going to plunk the link here. Um, I will see if I can put it in the top section here. There you go. So you guys can join us. I put the link right at the top. Um, we have one spot. So a bunch of people can like sit in our lobby. We're using Be Live uh, TV show which is kind of ironic speaking to the TV show host. (laughs) And um, so if anybody wants to join in, we're welcome to, if you've been on the show, we'd love to put you on for, you know, 30, 60 seconds, maybe a couple minutes. You can tell us a little bit about you and let's talk about Shireen. So Shireen, thanks for being on. Yes. Because you are helping a lot of people in the business that you already do. And I know you started a new project, so we'll talk about that in a few minutes. But tell us a little bit about you and how you got to doing what you do today. Because you help a lot of people through your business. Yeah. So um, currently, uh, one of my major uh, missions is to really help people um monetize their skill sets, their passions, and whatever it is that they want to do. So my theme is to, you know, uh, especially if you are currently in a career path that you don't like, you know, quit that nine to five and jump into a business in life that gives you the flexibility and you can love it. So that's what I'm all about. And I am about helping people around the confidence to do that. Um, and the confidence to actually start to go out and promote and sell themselves. Because it's, uh, I think the, the shift that has to happen for people is they've worked for companies and sold things, products, and talked about services. But when you get out there to talk about yourself, it's a whole different story um, because it starts to get really personal when people say no. Um, or just even putting yourself out there um, can be vulnerable for people. So that's Mm -hmm. what I really love to help people do, help them be really confident about who they are, their message, uh, how they're here to serve, and really promote that in a massive way. Well, I love it, and thank you for doing that and being that person for so many because I know you're having a huge impact on them. So I want to say hi to Lester. Lester says hey to us. Hi, Lester. We're going to meet Lester on May 31st at the Empowering Women to Succeed book launch. He's coming in from Chicago. Awesome. I've heard so much about your story. It's so <laughs> in, like so inspiring. Um, so looking forward to meeting you, Lester. Yeah. Well, awesome. And uh, Madeline shared the video. So thank you, Madeline, for that. And I hope to see you too on May 31st. That would be awesome. Uh, Lester says, hey, Shereen, maybe I can be in your show, too. You know what I I, when I heard your story, I was like, that needs that needs to be promoted um, and shared with the world. And this is what it's all about, right? Whatever it is that we're doing is that we need to uh, be able to put it out there, not just as a way to inspire others to say, look, this is what I went through um, and I've overcome it, and now I'm doing majorly uh, great things as a result of that. So, um, yeah, love to have you on the show. Stay in Toronto longer when you get here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lester, why don't you click in and join us on the screen for a couple minutes? <laughs> and Gordon. Hi, Gordon. <laughs> Hello, Gordon. <laughs> Okay, so Shireen, you started a new project recently. Yeah. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so I kind of we gave hints to it, which was a, t- a television show. So what is the you know one of the biggest mediums through which we can share who we are, our brand, our personal story, our products or services is 
television and video marketing. And so um, I, I personally knew that I wanted to step into this realm at some point in time in my life. And so um, I, I, what I thought would be so fantastic is, you know, for the community that I'm already serving, that is maybe humming and hawing about jumping on social media or jumping into any publicity a, a, at all, you know, what if I profiled entrepreneurs that are already doing it, um, that are already making big leaps in business? So um, it would be an insp inspirational show that would show every Sunday and, you know, get your really um, inspirational dose that you need for motivation. So that's that's where the thought came from. And it's ever since, you know, ever since conception, it was just you know, doors really opened for us and it just, it, we made it happen in less than about less than three months. We put things together and it, it, it's been amazing ever since. So I'm really excited about it. Yeah, it's go, 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 go. And it's awesome, awesome, yeah. awesome. And you're showcasing entrepreneurs and their businesses and they get to get their message out and help tons of other people. So it's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, I want to, I want to uh, give a shout out to Susan or Donna, who says, uh, awesome, Shereen and Randy, Susan, thanks for coming on. Susan, why don't you uh, click the link in the, uh, in the post and join us for a couple minutes. Haven't seen you in a long time on, <laughs> on Facebook. And thanks, Tao and Tana for being on with us as well and if anybody wants to click the link in the post and come and join us we'll put you up on the screen here with us for a couple minutes you can ask Shereen questions if you want so yeah we'd love to have you on so you guys are welcome to click on and uh, so Shereen tell us about some of the stories or some of the I don't want you to name the entrepreneurs because I don't want you to yeah, give away the everything. Personalities. Sorry? The, per the Some of the personalities that we've had on the show. Yeah. Yeah. So we've had a really good spectrum of them. Um, you know, uh, anywhere to stories of, uh, you know, of defeat and, you know, triumph to, you know, fear to confidence. Um, I don't want to give away any of the stories, but we, you know, episode one is already out. It aired last Sunday and that was featuring Craig Dunkerley. And he is um, a really good story because it, he was someone that was, again, in a corporate situation, corporate job where he realized it could no longer probably in the future support his lifestyle and dreams. And so um, what I loved about his story was his uh, leap into business, but also his leap in, again, uh, for some entrepreneurs, it, it could be public speaking and speaking changed everything for his business. He thought he wasn't a good speaker, which when you hear, when you see him on the show, he, I loved his energy. Um, you know, he was really energetic mm -hmm. and just an amazing speaker. You would never, you would think he was a natural. And so it's just so great to see how, you know, just because you've never done it before, just because you've never put yourself out there, whether on TV or social media, Facebook Live, podcasting, whatever, your story in a book, you never know what can happen out of it. And that's what's so amazing when you take a leap or you really get yourself out of the box and play bigger in your marketing. Um, because he says that public speaking changed his business and mm -hmm. changed the trajectory of his business. Oh, yeah. Right. So um, love his story. Um, and then episode two, we have this coming out this Mother's Day Sunday, which uh, I think everyone's going to love this episode because it's very much tailored to women and, uh, that are in business and so great for uh, Mother's Day. And um, it's featuring yourself, Randy, and we also have Sabir Chawala on that show. And mm -hmm. I loved uh, some of the, the, the tips that you guys gave. I don't want to give them away. You know, it's just an awesome show, right? So just um, uh, it's on Sunday. Um, but I think one of the key takeaways that I got was that no matter what stage of business you're in, you really uh, can learn from others 
in terms of what the, how they took even their weaknesses and make them work for them or the things that we would fear and make it work for your business. And that's what it, this is what it's all about, especially in marketing. Marketing is a courageous thing in business. It's putting yourself out there. Yeah, I love it. Love it. And I mean, you know, I love listening to the different shows that come out because they are so informative and it's such a range of different aspects of business and different ideas and you know people coming from different places and it's incredible to hear their stories but also to hear how they help people and you never know who you're going to connect with right and right. and what resonates with you so it's really nice to see and it's so professionally done shereen you guys are doing such a beautiful job your set is beautiful you're you know you're beautiful you, you show really well on television and Thank you know your videographer Janine is just phenomenal very professional team you have a makeup artist there um, yeah. you know to make sure that regardless what your skin color so anybody out there who might be fearful actually I'm gonna let you answer that in a second because I'm gonna do yeah. some acknowledgments but I want to talk about you know if people have fears of getting on television or video maybe you can talk to that but uh there were a couple comments here that uh susie camara said uh two lovely ladies who i look up to so thank you susie that was very sweet and tana was commenting when you're talking about craig on the show she said it was awesome and susie says uh, it was a great seminar thank you craig dunkerley so craig if you're listening uh susie loved your seminar which i know is an awesome seminar so um thank you for that and again anybody if you are on i don't think you can get on through an apple product but if you are on a microsoft product and you have chrome try to click in and join us in the lobby i'll add you on and you can chat with us for a couple of minutes we'd love to have you on yeah. so Shereen, back to you. <laughs> yes. So to our fear question, what do you what do you say to people who, you know, and they're legitimate, legitimate fears, you know, public speaking or, you know, that type of thing is like, you know, ahead of fear of death, right? right. So <laughs> <laughs> I get it. And you know what? Um, the common theme is like, I don't really, well, for one, on the show, we are exploring the story, right? Like, how did you get there? What did you do? Um, and for some people uh, that were on the show, sh shared very intimate, uh, um, you know, stories that you know, some had a lot of pain in them, a lot of situations where they were held, you know, vulnerable, uh, where there were losses involved and a lot of different, you know, stories. And the biggest thing is, well, I don't want to put my stuff out there or put myself out there, or my private life out there. That's one of the concerns that come up. Mm -hmm. uh, and for something like that, uh, that just has to do with your own, um, you, you know, what you feel is right to share and whatnot, what you're comfortable with sharing. I will say, though, that there are many lessons. You, you are helping somebody when you share your story. So if there is something that you've been through, maybe not share something that you're currently in right now, but something from the past that can uh, really illustrate an example of uh, of, you know, overcoming or doing something new, especially if it's related to your business. So that's another thing. So mm -hmm. for example, if you um, are a coach and you are serving divorced women um, and how you've overcome divorce, now you're coaching women in, in divorces. Well, it only makes sense to share your story to illustrate how um, a, a, a solution for your clientele, right? So um, it may be you work as an accountant and you, you had um, triumphs in making more money and investing or whatever that might be. You're going to want to share that story, right? Um, and so that's one of the things, like really take into consideration who you're helping, uh, 
No one's going to judge you. And if they do judge you, who cares? As a matter of fact, when you're playing bigger in marketing uh, and putting yourself out there, you are going to offend people. You are mm-hmm. going to step on people's toes. Uh, and you're, then you're going to have people on the other end that really like you. As a matter of fact, if you have people that don't like you when you're marketing big, you're doing something right. That means you're standing out. Uh, mm-hmm. And so it's about being authentic, being yourself, and really communicating with your audience who they're going to like you. That's all that matters. Not everyone needs to like you. And another thing, though, when it comes to fear, it could be just, well, it's a camera, right? <laughs> or, or, you know, I'm in front of a big crowd of people. So um, that fear that we feel is actually just a part of our brain that fires off. It's called the amygdala. And it's it's just the part of the, the brain that fires to let you know that you're doing something new. Proceed with caution. But it doesn't mean that you stop and you don't go ahead. It just means proceed with caution. You've never done this before. So you're going to feel, uh, I like to call it excitement rather than fear. Kind of change the perception of it. But your brain's going to fire off some excitement. You get on the set um, or you get in front of the Facebook live video and yeah maybe for the first couple minutes you'll be stumbling and if you're you know on uh on set with us we'll cut all that part out and really janine from and action media she's really good at making people look good on camera so um yeah it's great because um you can always edit and go back but again if it's something like facebook live or social media or getting on stage you gotta you you can't expect to be perfect the first run around Mm -hmm. it's a learning process no one is truly born in perfection nor is it um ever really perfect and we talk about this on the show by the way so um i think those are some tips that i would give to people that are experiencing fear when it comes to playing bigger in your marketing okay perfect and i and you know you're absolutely right like when people talk to me about being fearful of going in front of people you know it's like sitting and talking to your buddy you know if they forget that the camera is there or forget that the people are there right and just concentrate because they're talking to you so they're having a conversation it's just a conversation right So if they focus on just having a conversation with you and they'll forget about all the things that are around them and just focus in on the conversation. Because if you were having a conversation with somebody one-on-one somewhere, you wouldn't be nervous. You would just be having a conversation, right? Right. Yeah. But also if um, if you believe and tell yourself that what you're sharing is helping others. Like you said, you know, when you share your story, that's how you help other people, right? Right. Um, It also takes away from the fear because fear is really internalizing stuff, right? So it's actually running stories and hallucinations in your head, by the way, right? So when we we have fear going on, we're running stories of what it what if I mess up? What if I say the wrong things? What if I say something and it's public and the whole world sees it? We're running stories that are just not true. And so that's another thing. Like if you really are feeling anxious or fearful around something that potentially can take your business to the next level, then you know the thought process that you have behind what you're about to do is just the wrong ones flip the story and start thinking of all the incredible things that could happen. Well, one, you're going to get a lot more exposure. People are going to hear about your business. Mm -hmm. You can get potential opportunities from this, uh, potential clients. And you could just be, again, impacting someone's life in a way that you couldn't imagine. And so um, fear, really, if fear is running, if you really are feeling that, it's probably just because you're hallucinating a story that's really just not true just push it aside think of you know think of what what great things can happen and 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 act and speak from that place perfect thank you shireen uh pravin says hello and susan ardana says just getting comfortable in your own self (laughs) yeah which is true right Yeah. (laughs) yeah definitely 
but uh, so thank you for commenting. Um, before you were talking about, um, I just made a note here, so I'm looking at it, um, sharing your story publicly, how you're helping a lot of people, right? And so when people are maybe fearful of sharing their own story and they're thinking they know that my personal business, yes, you're helping other people, but also what it does, I just wanted to add to that, is it also sets you up as the expert, yes. right? So if you haven't experienced things, and I'll let you talk on this, right, then how can you be teaching other people unless, you, unless you've done so many years of research, you know, that you know it inside and out? How do you know it better than experiencing it yourself, right? Right. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the thing. Once you, whenever you do do anything that it, um, so there's certain mediums that create an image of authority, right? So one thing that's really key for us to know as marketers, because it doesn't matter what business in, you're in, you are a marketer. You have to sell yourself, yeah. right? Yeah. So um, there are certain mediums through which you gain instant um, expert status or influence or authority. And those mediums are when you become an author and publish a book. Uh, and when you're, uh, it could be also writing or blogging as well, speaking in front of groups and any type of, again, being on television. Once you're on television as well, it's like, oh, you know, so the, those mediums, mediums give a perception of your expertise and mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. It, it, it just automatically happens. You might not be saying anything based on research or, you know, letters behind your name, but the very fact that you're in that medium uh, positions you as an expert. So that's something that's good to know because People are looking for specialists. They're looking to hire specialists. They're looking to hire people that they can trust that are very credible as well. And so these mediums do create that positioning for you. Um, one thing that I always say to people, is, even as a mindset coach, is that uh, perception is reality. Mm -hmm. So if you're on these mediums and the perception is, well, she's on TV, she must be, she must know what she's talking about. That becomes your audience's reality of you. And, you know, whether you like it or not, that's just how the psychology of marketing works. And so this is why um, it, these mediums are great and you want to play bigger in that way. Exactly. Exactly. I love it. We have a few more comments. Uh, Miranda Brown says, hello. Hi. 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 artist. <laughs> And Pravin says, face the fear and do it anyway. Um, and writing a book is a legacy. Kathy Shim says, hi. So thank you for your comments, everybody. <laughs> and again, if anyone wants to join us for a couple minutes, please click the link in the post and uh, we'd be happy to add you in. Uh, you do have to be on a Microsoft product, though. It, it doesn't work on Apple for some reason. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're talking about um, fear. Well, we're, right now we're talking about fear, but using media to really expand your brand, right? And oh, thank you, Kathy. She says, looking great, ladies. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, beautiful. Um, so yeah, I mean, fear can stop us from doing a lot of things, but... Um, you know, using some of these techniques that Shireen's talking about can help you go forward with your business and use these tools. And these tools are part of our, you know, our five pillars of success, basically, where you have to use certain tools in order to expand your business. And Shireen, you mentioned, uh, you know, writing a book and uh, Pravin mentioned that as well. And I think it's really important, you know, you're talking about sharing your story. Um, so sharing it on television and sharing it through uh, book writing and sharing it through podcasting and courses and all kinds of other things, right? Yeah. Um, 
you know, and then talking about book writing, we have yes. the book launch coming on May 31st, Empowering Women to Succeed, where we have 17 authors who are going to step into their fear <laughs> and <Yes>. face it, <laughs> right? Sorry? I said, what's written is real. That's what my husband says all the time. It's published, it's out there. It must be true. <laughs> yeah, it must be true. And it that's the thing, anything that's on these mediums, it's just it instant authority. If it's published, there's just something about that. Plus you get to raise your price, increase your prices now, right? Yes. You can, you can charge a, people when you charge a premium price, um, it, it, it you you can do that now because you're now in that you're now can see um considered an authority so cool absolutely absolutely so Dwayne joined us thanks for joining us Dwayne you're welcome to come on and click the link if you want um he says hello and he loves podcasting Susan or <laughs> Susan or Donna says your book is one of the most powerful media to put a spotlight on your expertise, experiences and impact and make a difference. And you're absolutely right, because Susan is a best-selling author herself and uh, has done some incredible work to help others. So thank you, Susan. Love to have you on the screen, Susan, if you wanna click the link and join us. Um, Pravin says, the author's body dies, but the book never dies. Yeah. Right, so yeah. true. Yeah. And uh, and Gordon's trying to get Susan onto the Facebook Live. So Susan, if you can click the link, we'd love to add you on. Um, we're sitting here talking about using media to expand your brand. And I'm here with Shereen Francis, who is an expert in the field. She's also the host of Leap which is a new television show. And ironically, it also happens to be the name of the fourth Empowering Women to Succeed book. <laughs> so, so I need to ask you, Randy, in front of everyone. So did when did you decide on that title, Leap? When did you decide? Why don't you ask Gordon? <laughs> yeah. well, Gordon, Gordon actually no. came up with it. I was Gordon. Did you get it from the show, or did you? Was it really just up in the air, and we both just caught it? Like this is the season of people leaping into you know their business and, and life. I thought that was so hilarious. Hey, Richard. <laughs> Sorry, Dwayne Richards. <laughs> so we've got Dwayne. I've got Gordon waiting as well. Um, okay, I'll make mine quick. <laughs> So Dwayne, give, give us the goods. Oh, we were we were hanging out with Shereen this morning, and yeah, it was a yeah. great suspense note about the power of video. Even though I do love podcasting, we uh, we're shooting a little video for um, landing page, lead pages. So again, right. the advantages of it doesn't have to be just a TV show. There's all different areas that you can put your video in. And then we met with uh, um, Shireen's business partner, Janine, and we, Gordon and I, we got some fun and wild and awesome things in the pipeline now with uh, Janine, who obviously took your coaching well, because she, uh, I don't know if that's news or not, but uh, she, she quit something. Um, I don't know if I should share the news. You can share the news, Shireen. What did one, one, one of your friends, clients, what did she do? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, you know what? Let's just say that business is booming for her. And especially if, you know, my, my whole thing is, you know, transition into a business in life you love. So um, I believe that that is definitely happening for a lot of clients and that, uh, you know, I'm going to let her say it when she's ready to say it. Awesome. I don't want to put the cat, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag. Yeah, either, don't so. let the cat out yet. <laughs> I just got to say that one of Shireen's clients yes. is doing what you coach her to do. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Love so, it. And, uh, Love yeah. It. <laughs> That's awesome. I checked out that the, the sort of space I commented on Gordon's post that asked for forgiveness, maybe not permission. 
So we kind of snuck in some some video shoot in a in a space downtown this morning. It all worked out fantastic. So oh, uh, nice, nice, awesome. Well, thank you, Dwayne. Thank you. Have a great have weekend. Uh, happy uh, Mother's Day to you two wonderful mothers. Well, thank you, darling, and have an awesome weekend too. And uh, we will chat soon. Bye bye. And I'm gonna bring up Susan Ardana. It's coming up. Hey, Susan, how are you? Oh, I think you have to turn your volume on. Turn your computer volume on. Make sure your sound's on your computer. It's a silent movie. You know what's amazing though? Um, and this is why, and this is just a really good example of how powerful video is, right? Because, and the reason why video is so powerful is because not only do you just have the words, um, but you have the expression, the energy, the body language behind what you're talking about, right? So uh, this is why it uh, there are landing pages. So if you don't know what a landing page is, it's that first page that you land on when you get to website. Websites that have some sort of video on that first page tend to have up to 300% better engagement rates than other pages that are just stagnant without video. And that's because for one, a lot of people, um, need to get a sense of who you are and that comes in so many facets your expression so suzanne is like we know <laughs> like we i don't even need to hear the words that she's saying i just know i already know what she's about that she's like exciting dynamic you know i want to get to know susan right and so um our communication is only seven percent words but the, it's the whole enchilada of everything. There's expression behind it um, and the body language and all of that good stuff. And so this is another exactly. way we want to support people in getting ready in video marketing. Um, <laughs> Gordon says she lost her voice from cheering for the Raptors. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Susan, can you hear us? Can you I hear can us? Hear us. Yes, yeah. Yes. Okay. So go out and come back in because Shireen did that and it worked. So go yes. out and come back in. So we'll try that and see if we can get Susan in. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's funny. so Susan actually helped us get to number one international status with the first Empowering Women to Succeed book. Wow. So Susan was already an accomplished author and successful. So we asked her for her help and I'm going to bring her on again and hopefully cross one finger that we hear Susan. <laughs> Susan, are you there? And we're still not hearing you. Honey, is the volume on on your computer? I don't know why. Uh-oh. I don't know why we can. I'm sorry, honey. We can't hear you. Are you on a Microsoft product? Okay. <laughs> well, thank you, Susan. I was telling everybody how wonderful you were while you were coming <laughs> while you were coming back on, <laughs> and how you helped us get to number one with the first book. So, thank you. <laughs> and I'm sorry that uh, we can't hear you. We'll have to try it again another time. Um, but we'll do an interview with you, Susan, okay? <laughs> um, I know Gordon was trying to come on before as well. Gordon, why don't you click back in and we'll put you up. Uh, Gordon asked, what if you have no writing skills? Yeah. Well, if you have no writing skills, that's easy peasy yeah. so if you're not a writer or you don't have time to write or maybe you physically aren't able to write there's options for you 
There's ghost writing where an editor can write your story for you. We can interview you, transcribe it, and start the editing process that way. So there's all kinds of different options for you. If you want to become a published author and you think, well, I'm not a writer, how am I going to do that? Well, we always have a professional editor who's working on the stories and on the book. So everything's professionally done. And, uh, you know, it's our pleasure to help you share your story with the world where you can help impact and change lives as well. And you're going to meet 17 authors who are becoming published this month at the May 31st event. It's a book launch for Empowering Women to Succeed Bounce. And it'll be a full day and evening event. We're excited to see you. You can come and meet Shireen there, too. She's going to be there in the daytime. So we're lucky to have her. And you'll get to hear the stories of these 17 authors who are going to share with you. They'll make you laugh. They'll make you cry. They'll make you think. <laughs> they'll, they'll get you going. And, you know, really hoping to resonate with a lot of people and, and hopefully change their lives for the better. Uh, just by sharing our journey and our story um, and how we got through challenges in our lives. And that's the goal. The more people we can help, the better. Yeah. And, uh, you know, come meet Shireen. I mean, if you want to talk about uh, the television show or you want to talk about video or using media to add it to your business and really expand on what you're doing and taking it to the next level, you know, Shireen's a chickie to talk to. She's fabulous. <laughs> right? And it's easy, right, Shireen? Yeah. You know what? It is easy. And um, I think one of the biggest things, the biggest things is, you know, just sharing who you are. Just like how Susan came on here and your, her energy and her excitement. And uh, maybe you're not as bubbly as Suzanne is. I can't wait to meet her because I, I think we would jive really well. Uh, but um, again, just sharing who you are with people. And um, I, a, a, a lot of people don't know this, but I have a little bit of an acting background, uh, mm -hmm. which I never ended up using professionally. And um, it's just so come in handy now, right? <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, so yeah, like it, maybe maybe you you just want to know, like Shireen, what's the best ways to present myself when I'm doing a Facebook Live, or you know when I'm filming myself, or how do I who how do I tell my story, um, how do I use video and put that on my website to increase uh, you know lead opt-ins and all that great stuff. Oh, and do we have a mastermind secret event happening for you? So I'm not. I'm not going to disclose all the details yet, but um, the reason why me and Gordon met with uh, Dwayne this morning and Janine is because we have a really uh, great mastermind event coming up. It's cooking in the oven. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to share it with you all, but you'll probably find out within the next couple of days. So stay tuned for that. Sounds awesome. Sounds awesome. I'm excited to hear that. So we'll definitely know that before the book launch. Yes. And Talk yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I look forward to seeing everybody on May 31st. And I'll post the link for you if you'd like to grab tickets to come join us at the book launch. And you get to have your book signed by all these authors who are sharing, give them a hug. Um, you know, grab a lunch, grab a lunch and book, or better yet, grab the VIP, which is the best deal. And it's an early bird price right now of only $67. It goes up to $97 on May 25th. And you get access to the videos of the day, so you can watch them over and over again if you want. You get a copy of the book, of course. You get the hot lunch buffet. You get preferred seating, tabled seating at the event. And you get some great downloads and some other perks. And we really look forward to having you guys join us on the 31st. It's a Wednesday. So everybody should be able to make it out. 
And uh, you'll get to meet Shireen, of course. <laughs> I, love, I love hugs, giving hugs. So if, if you see me for the first time and you feel like compelled to, because I'm just so short and tiny, so people want to cuddle me anyway. So, <laughs> so when I see you, I'm probably going to give you a big bear hug um, or a handshake. Um, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to be there to hear about some what are some of the authors are saying in their stories. And um, uh, there, is there going to be book signing as well? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Come get your book signed for sure. Yeah, definitely. And Susie, thank you. We're excited to have you and looking forward to seeing you on the 31st as well. And I want to thank you, Shireen, for being on with me. It was a great conversation. Yeah, it was fun. Yes. And uh, I look forward to the next one. Yes. And they can watch our conversation this Sunday uh, morning at 10 a.m. Grab your mothers, your grandmothers, your daughters. The show is uh, geared towards Mother's Day and talking about you know, uh, women leaping in business and how um, actually one of our guests, Sabir Chawala, uh, how women have inspired him and his business. So uh, that's at 10 a.m. this Sunday. Uh, the channel is Checks 12. So the majority of people that um, that you'll be able to get it on Channel 12 Checks. But if you're unsure about the channel listings, you can go to shereenfrancis.com forward slash leap tv uh to get the channel listings and also to subscribe to all the episodes okay that's perfect and maybe we'll get you to type that into the the comment section as well sure. so that they have it um or we can put it in the top i'll edit the post send me the link and i'll edit the post sure. and put it there and uh and i'll post the link for the event on may 31st as well and if you guys are interested in attending and coming and supporting your friends who are going on stage you can message shereen or myself uh we, we can send you the link as well and if you're interested in being part of the television show yeah. definitely um that same can, link we can go there and they can um, apply to be a guest or an advertiser. Oh, there is our friendly friend. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Gordon looking all spiffy in his suit. <laughs> you guys hear me? Yes. yes. I was going to be like Susan O'Donna <laughs> of <laughs> California. If you're still there. Uh, I... Um, there's noise in the background where I am. There's going to be some construction, so I can't stay on for long. But uh, I've been watching and listening to um, pretty well this whole uh, Facebook Live, Randy, with yourself and Shireen. And one of the things I want to share with the folks that are watching right now is um, the fact that both of you are being so humble about your successes and about what you're doing. And the television show is going to be absolutely incredible. I just want to share a couple of things with you and why you want to uh, watch the show this uh, the Sunday. Number one, Randy's going to be on there, right? Yeah. You, Shereen, you're going to be on there. Both of you will be celebrating Mother's Day, which mm -hmm. is incredible. So yeah. the um, the show is so incredible. A lot of I don't know if, if people realize that this is just the beginning of something that's amazing that's going to about to happen. Uh, last week. Shereen, can I brag about last week? Last week was yeah, the first sure. was the first episode. I mean, the first episode. And people are saying, like, well, who the heck is watching? Well, yeah. it really doesn't matter, does it? As long as there's maybe just one person out there that may be watching that may want to pick up the phone and want to do business with you. So I'm going to yeah. share something, Shereen, without yeah. embarrassing you. Would that, would that be okay? Would that be okay? <laughs> I think it's I embarrass her right, right <laughs> after the show. Right after the show, can you imagine? I want if you're if you're uh, if you're listening to this right now, watching this, I want you to picture what if this would have happened for you? How yeah. excited would you be, Shireen? Right after episode one, got a phone call from a company, and I'm not going to tell you the name of the company, and I'm not going to tell you what they offered, but this company has over three hundred and seventy-seven thousand clients that are actually using their platform to sell their products and services online. They have done revenues of over $15 billion in total revenue. Can you imagine? 
not 15 million, but $15 billion in revenues. That, that's crazy. Talk about the billion dollar mindset. This company reached out to Shireen right after the show and said, we need to talk. They Isn't that incredible? Like 24 hours. It was like 8 a.m. the next day. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Getting a call from a company that, that, that's, that's done over $15 billion in sales, serving over 370,000 clients. That's the call that Shireen just got uh, from, 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 from the TV show called Leap. If you're, if you're thinking about being on the show, don't even think about it. Just pick up the phone and call her and say, how can I be a guest on the show? So that's what I wanted to, to share uh, with, with the folks that are watching Facebook Live right now. And uh, Randy, you've um, you have two number one bestsellers, like two mm -hmm. international bestsellers. That's that's crazy. So May thirty first, anybody who's thinking about being an author, uh, who's ever been thinking about it, just stop thinking about. It. Come on out, see for yourself how simple it is for you to be a part of an incredible community uh, that's starting to grow the empower women to succeed. Come and meet the seventeen authors. Uh, my 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 friend um, uh, Lester Bailey, he loves pizza. <laughs> so, no, he's coming all the way from Chicago. If he can come from Chicago, I can't see why we can't come. You know, within a half hour, an hour drive from from the GTA. Come, in, come and meet um, um, Lester. Find out from him. You know, who thirty years right in, in, as a police officer, he's been shot at, he's been stabbed at, he's probably broken up every domestic dispute you could imagine. He's somebody who's actually really made a huge impact uh, in his community, in our communities. Come and find out why uh, he's he, he became a co-author in Empower Women to Succeed. Yeah. Maybe why you may want to become a published author in, in Volume 4. Can I even talk about that? It, it, it's, it's neat that Volume 4 is going to be called Leap. Yeah. And it's neat that Shireen, the Shireen Francis talk show, television talk show, is also called Leap. So mm -hmm. I was asking Randy earlier, when did you get the idea for Leap? for the, the, the title of the book. Randy? Well, Gordon, I already gave away that it was your idea. Yes, okay. It was a leap. It was just a leap, right? It was just like, what? I remember, I, and I remember being at the Toronto Women's Expo uh, in March and pick and seeing the display and picking up. I was like, hey, it's called Leap. It's called Leap, right? <laughs> Amazing. And your television show is called Leap. That's amazing. Uh, I see... Um, Lester just says Giordano pizza. We have pizza pizza here, right? So we'll, we'll find some really good pizza here, Lester. Trust me, we'll have uh, we'll have a good pizza night here. Uh, so leap, leap and leap. It's 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 an amazing series. And I'm thinking, you know, Randy and Shireen, you, you guys, you have you haven't even introduced the book yet, and then Shireen, you have some of the most incredible uh, heart centered entrepreneurs that have already on your television show. Uh, we have some folks who are million dollar producers. We have some individuals whose companies are multi million dollar businesses. We have new uh, entrepreneurs that have never been in business before that's going to be on there. You have individuals like Laura, when I was in studio audience, uh, her story was so impactful. I didn't know if I was going to cry yeah. or if I was going to cheer. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's, it's just so absolutely incredible. I'm thinking maybe there should be a special. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe you should have a special, uh, like a special package for Leap that includes a book and a television combined together. What do you think of that? that, that what do you think that, of that? Sounds like right? a good when, idea. When you combine a book, when you combine a book with, with television, it's over. Talk about celebrity status. You know, Maria, who's in volume one, volume two, now volume three, she's got speaking engagements as a result of having a book. Yeah. Right. Uh, do you remember our, our, our uh, uh, my friend Dan Blackburn, you know, we helped him write a book called 17 Stories That Will Rock You, Shock You, and Inspire You. He's been on breakfast television. He's been interviewed on all kinds of television. When you have a book, media is going to come after you. You watch, they're going to come after you. Yeah. So you don't even have to wait for the media now. You can be on Shireen's television show. I think it's going to be the, the biggest show in the GTA. Right. It's going to be big. It's going to be huge. It's just going to keep on growing and just uh, be a part of it. Shereen, is there, there may be one or two more spots left. Uh, so, yeah, one? we're wrapping up season one. So if you want to get in during the spring, summer session, you want to like, 
like message me if you're on Facebook now or add me as a friend and send me a message right away or connect with Brandy and Gordon. Um, and then uh, we are aiming to have season two start in September, probably early, uh, right after everyone's back to school and back to work. So, um, yeah, I think it's great if you can get into season one, because remember, one thing that people don't consider one is we aren't on just local television. It's not just it's not just Toronto broadcast. This is broadcast all over Ontario, parts of Canada. Uh, it's you can be you can uh, see it in the Caribbean and East Asia as well. And your show lives on the Internet as well. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And the amount and of views over and over again, it's just fabulous. Yeah. And the amount of social media that's being done before, during and after. It's, it's incredible. Right. Uh, Lester, I just want to answer uh, part of your question here. Um, yeah, you should be on the show, Lester. You definitely should uh, have your story on, on Leap TV as well. In fact, uh, in June, I'm going to be uh, in New York City. So if you know anybody in New York, I, I, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming down to New York. And just like Lester, what we did in Chicago, we turned that town upside down and inside out with Inspired to Speak. Uh, Dwayne Richards and I are looking for folks in New York City who want to tell their story. I'm going to go down there. I'm going to teach people how to podcast. We're going to teach people how to write a book. And I'm talking to a friend of mine who uh, I can't tell you the name of the TV show, but it's a huge reality TV show that's happening in, in New York. It's happening in Miami. It's happening in uh, LA right now. And uh, this individual is going to be, we're going to be talking about how do we create possibly a television show uh, for our friends uh, in the U.S. side, right? From you know, we, we have so many entrepreneurs out of um, Dallas, Texas, like Pasha and Steve, uh, Pasha Oliver Carter and Steve Carter. We've got uh, folks down in Atlanta. We've got folks in Chicago. We have folks in New York. We have folks in Miami. So there's there's a huge opportunity not just to take leap and build it here locally, nationally, internationally. But I'm excited about. Um, all our friends and entrepreneurs in the U.S. that we may be able to team up with for shows that will eventually maybe maybe it'll be on Amazon, right? Maybe it'll be on um, Netflix. Yep, that's where. Would, would that be powerful? Cool. Yeah, it just yeah. starts with imagination. So I'm gonna finish with this, and I'll let you get let you, Randy and um, um, Shereen wrap up. I remember Byron Nelson, right? My friend Byron Nelson. If you haven't seen Byron, if you've seen Byron, come out on the 31st because there's going to be some new things he's going to be talking about. And I remember Byron came in, uh, Shereen, and he had um, his segment in studio with you. Yeah. Right? That was, yeah. Um, that was on a Tuesday afternoon. And that same morning, just before um, the, 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 the video shoot, I was reading um, Think and Grow Rich with Napoleon Hill. And I was – reading the chapter where Napoleon Hill talked about imagination. Yeah. And, and, and back then it was probably in the early 1900s, right? Maybe 1937. And Napoleon Hill said, I can imagine one day somebody could be having breakfast in New York city. And then that same afternoon having breakfast in California. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, back then it was just an imagination. And yeah. sure enough, here's Byron Nelson having breakfast in Toronto. Canada, and then he was going to be back home in Los Angeles that same afternoon. Yeah. Who would ever thought back then that that would be a reality? So there's so many things that uh, we may not think may be a reality today that will become a reality in the future. It just starts with imagination. And and I want to congratulate you, Randy, with the Empower Women's Succeed series. Thank and you. also you, Shereen, with um, with Leap. And both of you being, uh, the, you being the host and the producers. I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited. The future is um, the future is really bright for the folks that are in this community. And the event you're, you're talking about in June, uh, I wish I could tell folks about it. Uh, if you're not there, all I can say is if you're not there, you're going to miss out, right? If um, if you if you have a wedding to attend, cancel it. Right? Send a really nice gift. <laughs> yeah, some really nice gifts and bonuses, but. I know Shree, you and I had a quick chat this morning. We did some videos. We did some marketing. And everything that you and Suzanne and Randy have gone through, the, 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 some of the, the experiences you have, the mistakes, uh, that you're going to teach people how to avoid the same mistakes that you made and the, and, the, and the things that have helped you to get to where you are today, you're going to fast track that for the folks that are going to be in that 
uh, that room, that event with you. And what I love too is you didn't just talk about that one event, but this entire journey you're going to be taking them through. That's yeah. uh, that's pretty exciting. Anyways, thank you so much for giving me a few minutes to to share with you, and uh, I'll let the two of you wrap up. Well, thank you, Gordon, and don't run so quickly. But uh, you know, Gordon always talks about us being humble, but you're pretty humble yourself, Gordon. And, you know, just for those of you out there who, I know most of you know Gordon, but for those that don't know Gordon, he is a powerhouse. And I know Noelle was on at one point listening, so (laughs) powerful. (laughs) Very powerful. We may be small, but we're, um, right? (laughs) They may don't be mess bigger than us and stronger than us, but they'll never outwork us. There you go. But you know, Gordon is humble himself. He's very, uh, you know, quiet when he needs to. He's an excellent edifier, and you know, Gordon himself has built some incredible businesses. He doesn't run around telling people his successes, but he's had incredible successes in business building. I'm thrilled and grateful to be working with Gordon side by side and building this nice community and empire that we're building and now working with Shireen and Suzanne and all kinds of other and Dwayne and Deborah and and Anna and all kinds of wonderful people. Deborah, we're adding to Wayne. (laughs) I just did, yeah. So, you know, but Gordon is constantly lifting people up and helping them be their greatest and putting them up on pedestals and helping them to jump into their success where they didn't find hope. They didn't see it and didn't see how they could impact the world and be successful for themselves and their family and, and helping others. And Gordon, you're a rock and a foundation for that. And I just want everybody to know that, you know, if you're ever looking for a mentor, not that Gordon has a lot of time, but you know, you're an incredible one and somebody that people look up to and I'm thankful to be working with you. So thank you. Remind me to pay you for paying that, okay? okay. <laughs> Okay, can I just do one last yeah. with you about um, about what we're doing here? Um, as you were talking, I was just looking at, you know, one of the things that the clients that I work with, I, I wear them on my sleeves, as you know. And this little bracelet here, um, you guys probably can't see, but it's called Power by an Extra Chromosome. Mm-hmm. Power mm-hmm. by an Extra Chromosome. And, um, you know, a friend of my doctor, Dr. Neil McCarr, that we've done a number of things together. With and I'm saying this just in case if he's watching because I, I I'm hoping he'll be actually be on um, Lee TV and he should be on Lee TV. But uh, he introduced me to uh, Peter Henry and Peter's got a son who was born with uh, Down syndrome, right? And being a military guy, um, Peter said, "God, this has got to be a mistake. It can't be my child, right?" Mm-hmm. So his son Jonathan was told by the doctors that uh, he would probably never have muscle tone. Right. Uh, he had a heart uh, issue. He had um, all kinds of issues as a baby. But Jonathan's in his 30s today, and he's probably won more medals than any athlete I know in the world, no. whether it's swimming, um, uh, ice skating. I mean, you name it. He, he's been such an incredible inspiration. And we created a little charity called Power by an Extra Chromosome. Right. Wow. I love that. bracelets, t-shirts, bracelets, just to raise awareness. So I'm thinking with, with Leap, with Leap, uh, one good news I want to share with you is something that you absolutely love, Randy, is um, Anna Lopez of Million Dollar Smiles. Oh, yeah. Right? So that's uh, that's a charity for building playgrounds for um, kids, families with um, children who has uh, not a disability but a, um, an illness. Yeah. Right? Well, Anna's actually going to be a guest on uh, Million Dollar Smiles is actually going to be a guest on uh, on Leap TV. Love it. Yeah. So Love I'm it. so excited about that because, you know, we're going to, we, you know, Leap TV is going to do well. It's going to help a lot of entrepreneurs elevate their brand, elevate their marketing. It's going to help some of them uh, crush their business and make a lot of money. But it wouldn't be great if you could actually make a lot of money and help a lot of people uh, at the same time. 
right? That's Absolutely. what it is about, and that's what everything else we're going to do with uh, uh, around it is is about how do we how do we not just do well for ourselves, but how do we give back uh, to others in our community? So this I'll turn yeah. off the camera and then uh, let the two of you finish. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Gordon. Thanks for coming on. <laughs> And yeah, speaking of million dollar smiles, they have martini night tonight, which is actually sold out. So I can't even share the link with you again, but I'm excited to be there. They have 250 people going to martini night tonight to celebrate and to uh, uh, support the cause, helping terminally ill children. So great cause to support. We're always supporting them um, at our events and whatnot. So anytime you want to meet the lovely ladies, and uh, connect with them. They're a great team. Just come out to our events and we're happy to introduce you. So, Shireen, <laughs> thank you again. Yeah, this is a great conversation. Yeah, yeah. You never that. know where they're going to go, right? Yes. <laughs> so, well, thank you, darling. And I'm looking forward to seeing you soon and seeing everybody at the May 31st book launch for Empowering Women to Succeed, Bounce. And uh, yeah, and if you wanna be an author in the fourth volume, love to have you chat with me or send me a comment or a PM and love to chat with you about that. You connect with myself or with Shireen, or if you wanna be a guest on the TV show, you can connect with myself or Shireen on that as well. And we'd love to chat with you about it. Yes. So Friends, thank you. Connect with me. Looking forward to connecting with people on any of what we've talked about. So awesome. Time. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Happy Mummy's Day. Happy Mummy's Day to you too. <laughs> Happy Mummy's Day to everybody out there. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Have an awesome weekend, everybody. Thanks, Bye. Shireen. Bye. Bye.